guys today we are going to see how to install and run Cassandra on our Windows PC okay Cassandra is nothing but a blockchain database where it stores the data in the format of nodes and there will be some hash key object okay which will be interconnected between um, different uh, nodes okay uh, and uh, we call the table um, in a uh, we call the tables in Cassandra as a key spaces okay uh, there is a um, uh, it has a clusters okay which we call it as a uh, replication factor a replication factor which is a uh, how many clusters want we can give okay and uh, we have a uh, describe key spaces okay to describe the key, key spaces okay and uh, with the help of use command we can use the particular database which is created in database first we will we see okay our main motto though is the run and install Cassandra on Windows okay uh, first for that what we needed is we need to have installed um, Java uh, Java 1.8 okay and uh, Python okay first we go go to Windows PowerShell okay in search we have to go to search first Windows PowerShell okay in that uh, run as administrator okay Windows PowerShell okay okay we'll minimize this one and we have to execute the command okay get execution policy list okay here the list of policies okay which are defined will be there what is the mission policy user policy process okay local mission okay current user like that okay and after that for this one to make this one as a we are going to set some policy okay which is going to be unrestricted okay we make it as unrestricted okay it is an administrator mode sometimes it throws error uh, no issues okay if it is not allowing uh, to make it as a restrict uh, unrestricted it will throw error okay after that we will get get policy if you see here um, before only current machine is unrestricted here if you see process current machine local machine everything is become unrestricted okay this is the first process we need to do okay in uh, Cassandra and after that PowerShell policy okay we need to apply okay and the next is for the current user okay set and get okay it made us uh, unrestricted and after that uh, uh, we need to have Python okay uh, um, uh, Python 27 okay that is a uh, Python 27 if you go and uh, search in Google okay we can able to find the version okay Python notice on download okay we will get this release okay and we can uh, um, Python if you go here downloads it will be an Windows MSI installer okay if it is a, it is a, if it is a 32 bit machine or 62 bit machine you can download and install okay uh, that one I will show the path where we got uh, we installed okay because uh, if we are installing it will be a lengthy video okay so that only we are showing before uh, we installed C colon okay inside that user run where is the location we specified C by two six two seven uh, yeah here it is installed okay this is the location okay we need to have the location okay under the powershell location okay where is the powershell and we use java made location okay and we can download this cassandra okay apache cassandra in the website okay as like this you put download okay it will go to the site the second one okay go here download now if you click okay you will be having latest versions okay uh, you can able to download that one 
okay some stable version but we are having this version which is the into archive folder i think here if you go here we can able to cassandra 3.10 only we i have you can use a whatever version you have okay src tar file okay uh, you can click this one and download that one okay either uh, if you want src or bin okay tar you can download like this okay it will be downloaded as a folder uh, i think uh, this folder is not needed for us okay we already have this one in a location okay d i will show this location where we have as like uh, uh, see here this is a folder okay we will not make any changes to this okay directly we will go here bin we use this path okay and after that the cassandra to open the server is cassandra server and after that sql search to execute the commands okay and node status okay and after that in uh, it will throw some uh, error okay uh, to change the uh, path okay path of this uh, uh, java here i will show that one or conf okay enrollment somewhere i think you need to change this one that is memory will be low okay we need to increase that one let's search the full data I think JVM options might be there. I think. Uh, yeah, correct. JVM options is the file name. Okay. I forgot to note it down. Conf slash JVM dot options. Okay. Here we need to make the change. Okay. Something will be there. We need to comment it out and make this one as okay here we make this one as a path okay as per the top setup after doing this all only we need to go for this option okay so we make the changes over there okay okay right uh, after all this were done we need to close and we need to take this command okay go to cmd you can make it as run as administrator so that you will get all rights to run the cassandra okay here if you see sometime it will throw this error okay it will ask for uh, r to run once okay it will execute see here after that this is the normal status okay here only if uh, this command came okay it is uh, executed okay the same way what we have to do we have to copy this command take a new command prompt okay which can be in administrator mode paste this command okay and after that sql has h okay if you enter it will come here okay if you go here and give describe this is the as like the um, command prompt in mysql or some other thing we can go here and use this one okay use database query okay create and uh, everything is there i just want to show you this table okay select star from table name so now it is executing okay and if you want to see the node status what is the status of the node okay we have a separate command i forget to take it in node there is no mandatory but anyway some laptop restrictions will be there so we will take this one okay node status yeah data center okay 
rack okay or uh, host id load what is ip address okay like that it will get uh, displayed okay um, same like that uh, alter command is there as like a db uh, rdbms table okay but uh, cassandra is an nosql database uh, which stores data in the format of blockchains okay the same like that create okay uh, those things at all will be there okay here for auto increment uh, we will use uid okay for auto increment and for inserting the uh, this is the insert query okay and uh, select drop for drop table truncate table okay uh, all the things will be similar to that okay this is how it is simple but uh, some restriction will be there according to your pc that we have to overcome okay or that okay next we will see how we can connect uh, in the next video we can see how we can connect this okay cassandra to our uh, java uh, java backend microservices or uh, uh, some other java applications okay whichever uh, we can able to see thanks for watching this video